evening, my baby. Uh, good evening, sir. You've no idea who I am, have you? Uh, no, indeed, Mr. Mullina. <laughs> that, I take it, is Lord Brangbilton. Yes, sir. Where's Lady Millicent? Uh, uh, she's awaiting his lordship at Westping Hall, sir. In that case, I'll travel with you. You'll appreciate the company. If you say so, sir. I do say so, Mallaby. I, I mean, I must have a certain amount of appeal. Otherwise, why would Sir Sutton have invited me a perfect stranger down for the weekend? How far away is Westminster? About uh, two hours, sir. Oh, fine. I, that should give me ample time to ingratiate myself with the old buster. See, simply a question of personal magnetism and charisma. And catching the train, sir. Oh! <laughs> We're going too fast for that, sir. Uh, Lord Brangbolton, I believe. Go to hell! <laughs> I fancy you were to be fellow guests at Westbing Hall, sir. And what of it? Monarchs? I think not, sir. Oh, it's quite simple. You see, what you do is, is you, you bet a quid, or whatever it is, that you can cut a higher car than the other chap, you see. Well, if you do, you win. If you don't, you don't. It sounds a bit like blind hooky, sir. It is like blind hooky. Very like blind hooky. As a matter of fact, if you can play blind hooky, you can play Persian Monarchs. Right, here we go, then. <laughs> there we are. Now, you lost, of course. Father usually does well on trains. Twenty pounds. But I consider it a sound investment. We parted on the most cordial terms, and I, I'm hoping to press home my advantage. You didn't tell him you're a detective, did you, my darling? No, but I intend to, and I'm sure I can get him to overlook my profession and welcome me gladly as a son-in-law. He's in his room, is he? I believe he's taking a bath before dinner. Splendid. A captive audience. Leave it to me, my angel. Find the soap. You've, uh, you've lost the soap? Yes, it's missing. Missing? Yeah. Hey, I see. Had it here a minute ago, now it's gone. That's strange. Very strange. Makes a fella think a bit, you know, that sort of thing. My own soap, too. Brought it with me. If you could just tell me what occurred, sir, uh, in your own words, and tell me everything, please, one never knows when the slightest detail might not be important. Yeah, I see, yes. Well, let's see now. My name is Reginald Alexandra Montague James Bramfield Trigenis Shipton Bellinger, 5th Earl of Brang Bolton. Now, on the 6th of the present month, today, that is, I journeyed to the home of my friend Sir Sutton Hartley Westbingbard, here, in point of fact, for the purpose of spending the weekend there, you see. Now, knowing my friend Sir Sutton likes to have his guests sweet and fresh about the place, I decided to have a bath before dinner. Well, I unpacked my soap, and in a short while had lathered myself from the waist upwards. I was just about to get at my right leg, when what do I find but the soap has disappeared? Nasty shock it gave me, I can tell you. <laughs> Looks like an inside job. <laughs> Scarcely be the work of a gang, because you would have noticed a gang. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You're sure you've omitted nothing, sir? Well, I was singing, of course. You were singing? Uh -huh. What? Sunny Boy. As I suspected, I, I, I don't know whether you're aware, sir, but in the singing of that particular song, the muscles automatically contract when you come to the final Sunny 
boy. You see, it would be impossible for anybody rendering that song with a proper gusto not to force his hands together at this particular point. When there are grey skies, boom, 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 I don't need those grey skies. Boom, 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 boom. I still have you, sunny boy. <laughs> you see, and if there were any slippery object between your hands at this point, such as a piece of soap, it would inevitably shoot <laughs> over the top and land about here. <laughs>